It's almost February, and we really need some custom firmware for the 35XX Plus. And today, we're going to try MinUI. Now, MinUI is a very minimalistic custom firmware, so not a lot of bells and whistles. It pairs the whole experience down to, here's the games, uh, let's play them, and they work. And for a handheld like the 35XX Plus, maybe minimalistic is all you want. You want to be able to take it out of your pocket, turn it on, and start playing. So without further ado, we are going to install Min UI on the 35XX Plus. Now, hopefully, if you follow all my instructions and follow the README, you won't have any problems, but uh, I do disavow any claims of liability for if your handheld catches on fire or comes to life and tries to kill you and your family. It's not my fault. I'm not gonna get dragged into the courts again. So your first step is obviously take the SD card out. Yeah. Heck, let's take out both. Yeah. Make sure we don't get them mixed up. That's one, that's that's two. Now the good thing about MinUI is you can just take your stock operating card and put the software right on top of it. You don't necessarily have to reformat everything. The instructions explicitly state, just put it on top of stock. So that's what we're gonna do. Get these SD cards, plug them into the computer. Be right back. Dee, 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 dee. So your first step is gonna be to navigate to the MinUI GitHub. Scroll down to the bottom. You can read all about it. Ooh, available for the Ambernick RG35XX Plus. Well, let's just go on to the latest version. And here we go. Scroll down. We have a base and an extras file. I'm going to download both. If you want to be plain Jane, just use base. Skipping ahead, you can see I've extracted. I have an extras and I have the base. I'm going to open them up in two different tabs because that's easier for me. And then I'm going to read the instructions. Huh? Now, it's not too complicated. You basically have to drag one file over to your TF1 card and you have to drag over another file to your TF2 card. Pretty easy. Ah, not now, Microsoft. I'm busy. Ugh. All right. So you're going to want to put dmenu.bin onto your root of your SD card. So I just select it, copy, and go to my other folder. Paste. How do, where, mm, mm, stupid, stupid new windows. Swap SD cards. And now you're going to want to put menui.zip. Put it right in the main directory of your SD card, too. Go away. Paste. And that's it. You're done. Now the menu I is on there, your next step is going to be to transfer all your ROMs and your BIOS over. Now menu I has its own file name structure, so I just copy these folders over into my BIOS and I move my existing BIOS into place. Kind of the same with the ROMs. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but what I do is copy the entire file directory over and then I open them up in individual tabs and I start moving ROMs from the corresponding folder to the corresponding MinUI folder, which I will do in super fast motion. All right, well, that's done. We, uh, 64 is one. And then we put our ROMs in. And as you saw, MinUI definitely supports two SD cards, which is kind of cool. All right, here's where we cross our fingers. Hope I did everything right. <sighs> Power on. Huh? Yes! Ooh, yeah, everything worked. Why is it so dark? Guess I should have figured out the shortcuts. Menu, brightness. Oh, oh, okay. Menu plus the volume. Adjust the brightness. You know what? That's pretty slick. That's all you get. That's all you want. Let's just see what we got. Game Boy. All our games. Oh, let's do Cave No Ear. Menu button takes you to a pretty simple menu. Where you can continue. You can save. You can load. You can adjust options. You can change front end options. Your, your screen scaling. Oh. Oh. You can... Max out your fast forward. That's actually pretty helpful because when I was playing Metarots for Game of the Month this month, I would have fast forward down and it seemed like it was going way too slow. And I didn't, uh, honestly, I was just too lazy to adjust it myself. But this, I can do it right there. How about that? Uh, change emulator. You can do all your colorization for Game Boy. It's all specific to whatever system you're running. 
uh, change your controls on the fly. Pretty cool. Shortcuts. Oh, okay. So for save states, you hit A, and then you map it to menu plus R1. Load state, menu plus L1. Reset game, I don't want to do that. And we'll do toggle fast forward as R2. Okay, save changes. Save for the console. Okay, and we're back and just continue. Okay, you see I'm doing, I've added save states. Now it doesn't give you that little pop-up like RetroArch does. So the first time you use it, you might be a little bit like, well, did it work? But let's go all the way up here. And then there you go, load you back up. Fast forward, it turns the volume off, but you're definitely moving a lot faster than you normally would. Whee! Get him. Super cool. And then once you play a game, you have your recently played. Cave No Ear. How about that? Let's see what we got. Let's try options for PlayStation. Oh, let's do King of Fighters. So our options for PlayStation, Sam, you can adjust screen scaling, sharpness, fast forward speed. Specific is using the rearmed R23L core. You can change your region, BIOS, clock speed, dithering pattern, nice, frame skip, all that jazz. Pretty cool. There's a lot you can do. Looks like you have to manually set your shortcuts for each system, but that's not too bad. Let's just, uh, well, let's map, let's map fast forward to R2. Save that just for now so I can, so I can speed ahead. Oh man. Whoa. Yo, I'm gonna get beat. Dang it. I mean, super minimalistic. But for a handhold like this, say I'm at uh, dance class, which is where I play my 35XX a lot, actually. Because you have to sit in the hallway. You can't even go into the room. You're just sitting in the hallway. So I'm at dance class. Gals are dancing their hearts out. I can't see anything. Sit in the hallway, pull out the 35XX Plus, and I decide, you know what? Let's play Operation Europe. And before you know it, I'm sitting there, shooting up tanks. What are those, tiger tanks? Shooting up tiger tanks, saving France or Belgium, what have you. And everyone else is just on their phones, on the TikTok, doom scrolling. Well, I'm actually being productive. I'm taking out these Nazis, just, just saving Europe. I tell you what. This is actually a sneaky recommendation of mine. I played this a lot when I was little and didn't really understand what's happening, but it's actually, uh, it's pretty cool. Save that for later, and then we're out again. So yeah, MinUI, very, very minimalistic. On the 35XX Plus out of the box, you get Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, Genesis, PlayStation, and Super Nintendo. Now there are extras. You can add Game Gear, Virtual Boy, a couple other systems but it is pretty bare bones. But if that's what you're looking for, look at that. I can just press the power button, goes to sleep. Put it in my pocket, I'm done. I'm really proud that I didn't brick my device, especially since this is one of these ones where you just put a file on top of stock. Pretty cool. Gonna have to explore MinUI a little further. Well, I guess it's time for... What did we learn? We learned that MinUI is pretty much the first one out of the gates as far as custom firmware goes for the 35XX+. Plus. Now, I spoke with the developer. I said, let me know when you think you are out of alpha for the 35XX+. Plus. And he said, well, you know what, Zoo? <laughs> uh, uh, I am. And I said, oh, well, heck, I got to get this started. So I did. It's the first one out of the gate. It's very minimalistic. In some ways, it doesn't mesh with the upgrades of the 35XX Plus. Uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi out of the box, but the minimalistic approach is really nice because you can pick this up, you can play, turn it off, boom, you're done. Uh, it's reminiscent of the early days of Garlic OS, the early days of Onion OS, except where, say with Garlic OS, the software actually improved your gameplay. This already has enough power that you're not worried about, oh, I gotta eke out a little bit more performance from PlayStation. No, what you're doing, is really optimizing the plug and play ability. You press the button, turn it on, play, press another button, turn it off, call it a day. 
So if you really like a minimalist approach, this might be the one for you. For me, I really like it. It's surprisingly good, but I kind of miss box art. I kind of miss being able to set up Wi-Fi without that Wi-Fi default. There's no scraping. There's no retro achievements. There's none of that. But 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 I'm not going to hold it against it because it's the name of the custom firmware is Min UI. It's supposed to be minimalist, and that's what they've achieved. So if you really, really like a no muss, no fuss, easy peasy, give this to anyone, they can figure it out, set up, this might be the one for you. Now this is just the first of at least three major custom firmwares. You have Min UI, you have the Botocera build for this, and you have Garlic OS. Uh, release date on that is TBD, I don't know. But Min UI, if you like a minimalistic approach, I think maybe you should give it a shot. I like it. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. Now, if you liked MinUI from what you saw in this video, definitely go into our description, go to the GitHub, download it. It's the easiest custom firmware I've ever flashed. And the fact that you just drag stuff over onto the SD card, no reformatting required, none of that funny business. But yeah, if you liked it, get MinUI on your 35XX Plus, and it's available for a wide variety of other handhelds. And give our old buddy Sean, uh, buy him a cup of coffee or something. I don't know if he has a Patreon or not, but give back to some of these devs that produce consistently good work and they're not going completely insane while they're doing it. Throw them a buck or two if you enjoy MinUI like I do. If you enjoyed the video for other reasons, my zany antics, then give us a like and a subscribe. If you don't have a 35XX Plus and you want to get one, we got an affiliate link in the description. doesn't cost you anything extra but it uh, puts a couple bucks in our tip jar so we can keep buying weird stuff like easels and um, lilac colored desk mats and tiny Game Boys. This is actually candy. My kids ate it all. <sighs> I was really looking forward to that candy, Gary. Dang it. I'll go eat some grapes. It's nature's candy. <sighs> it's not as good though.